So if in case you, you were wondering, I am the African. <laughs> um, I study law and I'm in the University of Dundee. Uh, you can clap for that. Yeah. 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 Uh, um, uh, this is not my first time in the UK. I was born here. And I spent one year of uh, primary school year four where I went back home because I was getting bullied. Most by my cousin. I heard he's a gambling addict now. I was quite happy about that. <laughs> so um, I don't know if it's quite apparent, but I'm very African. Like I think proper African. Like um, you know when you go to a bar and you go to the bathroom and you see like some African dudes in aftershave. That's how African I am. <laughs> so um, yeah. So um, when I, when I told people I was coming to Scotland to for university, I was um, they were like, oh man, you're going up to all the way to Scotland. I was like, best law school I'm going to. I was quite apprehensive because. I thought, at least, um, I thought at the time that the higher up north you go, the more potential for racism, so I was kind of like scared, I was like, oh no, I don't want to go up there. So uh, when I first got to Dundee, my racial consciousness was tested the next day. I was, um, I took a bus, uh, I, went, I took a bus, I used to live at West Park, it's just up the road. It's actually quite a short distance, but I took a bus because at the time I thought that's what you do. Um, <laughs> So um, I got on the bus and I noticed immediately that everyone was white. So I was like, okay, uh, just blend in. <laughs> and um, I was like, I was like, oh, should I go to the? I was like, what's the procedure when a uh, minority black man enters the bus? Do I go to the back? Do I go to the back of the bus? I was like, no, I was the parkers for for that anyway. So I sat myself strategic. Wait, I sat down once. <laughs> <laughs> I sat down one seat from where I considered the middle of the bus because I was like, yeah, I'm being politically correct, you know, in British like that. Um, so um, about a minute into the bus drive, um, I noticed a little girl playing with her mom. And then she looked at me, and then she looked at her mom, and then she looked at me, and she said, Mom, look, a black man. And I was like, where? And then uh, I saw everyone was looking at me, and I was like, fuck, man, they noticed. <laughs> Should have worn my Union Jack shirt today. <laughs> Manchester United jersey or something, man. Fucking up. Good thing they sack noise anyway. Uh, so uh, fast forward four years, I'm in my final year. Uh, I wrote my dissertation on is poverty a breach of human rights. Consequently, I know a bit about poverty and I know a bit about human rights. So it, 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 I took interest when I found out that Nigeria recently banned homosexual activities. I told you I was African. Keep up with it. So, um, yeah, so uh, obviously I'm Nigerian, so I, I thought that was kind of weird. They passed a piece of legislation, it's called the Same Sex Marriage Pro Prohibition Act, and you can get up to 14 years imprisonment for homosexual activities. And I was like, <sighs> I thought that was really excessive personally, I think it's unnecessary. Um, I'm sure everyone has the views, but for a moment, can we just um, take the legality and morality aside and look at this piece of legislation? Because I'm not an expert on law enforcement or anything like that, but, uh, but if a prison is supposed to be a correctional facility for sinners of society, I don't think that's the best place to send a bunch of homosexuals. <laughs> a bunch of horny men or women Sending gay people there, well, that's that's what that's up to them. So, um, second thing I thought was like, how are they gonna enforce this? Because like, um, due to the culture, like PDA in general is not, it's not a big, it's not a big thing. So, um, so you don't really see a lot of people, and you don't really see a lot of homosexuals. So I heard right on cue that there's a task force that's going to be created or is in talks that's going to actually go out and try and stop homosexual activity. Now that's crazy, don't you think? Yeah. Oh, am I crazy? <laughs> um, well, um, okay, so um, they, I read it and the name that was brought up to name this, you know, task force was the Federal Association Against Gays. 
The M A A G. I mean, one A doesn't make any better. Like it's still, they are basically the fat forces coming to get the gay guys. I mean, come on, people. You get what I'm saying? So, uh, I thought about that. I thought that was quite weird, to be honest. Um, yeah, so can you, can you imagine uh, a tourist, a gay tourist going to Nigeria and not having any knowledge of the previous legislation that I just mentioned? First of all, he would not find any gay people. And if he tried to look, the agents of FAG would come and get him. <laughs> and place him in a facility with other gay people and a bunch of horny men. <laughs> So, I don't know about you, but if I was a gay man, that would sound like a last holiday. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time.